is up, it's Moon, and welcome to today's episode of Map Awareness. Today we're going to talk about Team Huma, Santorin, and Forgiven. Team Huma has been the talk of the community since their recent organization mishap. The team began by entering the EUCS 2016 Spring Open Qualifier with high hopes. They successfully made it into the main qualifier and finally entered the EU Spring season. During the season, they made it all the way to the semifinals. However, on the last day of the split, an article was released stating that Huma had failed to provide compensation to their players and staff and are allegedly unable to afford hotels for playoffs in Berlin, visas for their foreign players, or any compensation for their support staff. Amongst all of the drama and allegations, dentists wrote a full recap of the events with proof in full detail, including screenshots of conversations that he had had with the people involved. In this document, he thoroughly accounts for his involvement in the gaming house, partnership deals, boot camp, salary, and misrepresenting Riot. Honorable mentions of the document being, in regards to the house, he shows proof of his own research into renting a place and the unwillingness of Bedad to confirm anything along with him. In regards to the partnership deals, he explains that since the team was planning on selling, he didn't believe he could fulfill his end of a partnership deal and therefore was accused of sabotaging them. Additionally, the organization had refused offers to sell the roster to Complexity and was instead looking to sell Santorin's contract to Ember or another team for a buyout. Now on to Santorin. After parting ways with TSM, Santorin stated that he didn't think he'd be playing League of Legends professionally any longer and would instead stick to streaming full time and then studying on the side. And that all apparently changed when he signed to Team Huma. His contract was bought out by Ember's parent corporation, Team Elemental, earlier this week. He will be replacing Ember's current jungler, Juan Contracts Garcia, who will be ineligible to compete if the team makes it to the promotional tournament due to being underage. But there is already talk of Ember starting a team called Ember Academy, which will most likely be another challenger team revolved around Garcia if the main team does qualify for the LCS. Now on to Forgiven. During a post-game interview, H2K Gaming's AD carry Forgiven announced that he had been called for a mandatory 9-month conscription into the Greek army. Forgiven may be the only Greek league player to win a major title, but he's not recognized as an athlete in his home country. Therefore, he's not excused from this enlistment. This has gotten professionals and esports fans alike to act out towards the Greek Prime Minister and asking him to waive this. There is also an organized petition titled, Free Forgiven from Military Service, made out to Prime Minister of Greece, Minister for National Defense. The petition states, Please free Konstantinos Forgiven, one of Europe's best competitive players in League of Legends, from military service in Greece, or delay the military service until the end of his career. It would have an impact on not just competitive League of Legends or his team H2K Gaming, but also for his ongoing career as a professional athlete. However, even after all of this community involvement, it is still unknown whether or not Forgiven will soon be playing his last game. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you like this, make sure to check out more content at skgaming.com.